All right, guys. This is Ranger forty three twenty one. This is my range review video of my Palmetto State Army AR fifteen. Um, I took it to the range when I was up visiting family in South Dakota for Thanksgiving, and uh, gotta say it was a very nice, very smooth shooting AR. Um, I've heard some people say the buffer that comes with it is sort of light to it. Gives it some little bit more heavier recoil, but you know, I didn't really experience any of that. It felt sort of mild to me compared to shooting a rear 308. But, um, I'm overall very pleased with the firearm, especially for the uh, the money and the quality. <clears throat> the upper and lowers are both uh, forged, and you've got the chrome molly vanadium barrel which is a machine gun steel quality barrel so you can really just rail on the thing and be fine I mean, it's got chrome line in it so it's good um... I made a few uh... upgrades externally to my weapon I have the badger ordnance um, latch right here I chose that one because it's kinda cheap by itself and two, I like it. It sticks out far enough and it doesn't have those ridges on there to where you could scrape your finger. It's just hollow right there and it looks cool too. I've also got the Magpul Bad Lever. I chose that because it makes really the whole system a little more modular and uh, that way I can work both the mag release and the, the bolt catch with my one finger. But uh, at the range, I did notice a couple things. It has some issues uh, with the tool ammo. Now, I've talked to several guys, um, both personal friends and guys I work with and um, some guys on YouTube. I talked to Soup Stub a lot as well. And they all seem to say that um, they have no trouble shooting wolf or tool ammo through their weapons. But I had a little bit of issues with it. And it could have been because of the break-in period. I don't know. That's what I suspect. Is it just it wasn't broken in enough. But I had a, several failure to feeds. And, and a couple failure to ejects completely. So I had to rack the bolt back all the way back and rack one in. But this is bulk ammo. So I, mean, I guess you can expect that for cheap bulk ammo. But we'll see how that goes. And I've, um, I decided to do something a little bit different with my... The way I keep my ammo stored in my mags. I've got 27 rounds of regular ball ammo, and the last three are tracers. The reason being I have three tracer rounds last is because when you uh, when you're firing a weapon, and it's like a tactical scenario, you don't really know you're out until you feel the uh, the bolt all the way back, and it sometimes it can take you by surprise. If you're not used to it, but this just adds a more a secondary uh, level of knowing that you're out because you see the the visualization of the, the tracers going down range. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but overall, I'm very pleased with the firearm. Uh, if you decide to get a Palmetto State Armory, be warned the customer service isn't all that great. But I can deal with bad customer service as long as the the weapons in a good fighting condition which this one very much is uh, but that is my range view um, I do plan on getting <clears throat> a new pistol grip and a new stock I'm not decided yet on the stock yet but I'll let you know um, but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy it and uh, subscribe for more videos of guns or and uh, camping, hiking, backpacking equipment or survival stuff. And uh, tell your friends about it. Thanks, guys.